people. All right, where are you guys? I'm catching up. I'm driving into the sunset. CyberGhost VPN gives you the privacy and security that you need. Check the description for an exclusive discount code that will give you a whopping 80% off. Alright, so I'm keeping my promise that was a sponsor, so here's a $10 Amazon gift card code. Whoever gets it first, it's yours. What's up guys, the Hackspot here, and today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to easily connect an Xbox One controller to your Android device and play games. This is super cool, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so guys, in the past, I did make a video on how to connect a PS4 controller. This is not a DualShock 4 PS4 controller, but it's upstairs and I'm too lazy to get the PS4 controller, but I did make a video on how to connect a PS4 controller to your Android device and play games, and it's so cool that Xbox controllers now have Bluetooth so you can go to connect these controllers to your Android device too and play games. The Xbox controller is honestly my favorite controller. It's just so ergonomic and it just feels nice. So I really like being able to play with an Xbox One controller. So let's go ahead and get started. Now to start with because of Samsung's partnership with Microsoft and Oculus, this does work the best on Samsung devices. So the Note, the Galaxy, but it does also work on the LG and other Android phones. It's going to test on your phone, but again, it does work better on Samsung devices because of that partnership. And with that being said, this does not work with the original Xbox One controllers. So in my PS4 controller video, I did say that Xbox controllers cannot connect because they don't have Bluetooth. And that was only true with these old controllers, the ones that are original. So if you have the Xbox One X or the Xbox One S controllers, they do work because they now do have Bluetooth built in. Now, a way to tell if your controller will be supported is this right here. So this is a giveaway. So you guys can see this controller right here is one color and at the top over here, it is black. So it's a different color. Now this controller over here, it's all white all across and that means it does have Bluetooth. So that's just one way to tell a part of the different controllers to see if they have Bluetooth or not. So again, this one has a black piece at the top. This one doesn't, it's all white. So this one has Bluetooth. This one doesn't. It will work on this one. It will not work on this one as this controller does not have Bluetooth. You know, I just realized this looks like the iPhone notch. Take a look at that. All right. <laughs> so they've probably done away with that since Apple kind of messed up the look and image. So this is an Xbox One S controller, but again, it does also work with Xbox One X. And basically any new Xbox controller that you buy now will have Bluetooth, so you should be covered. All right, so what you want to do first is go into your phone settings. And once in settings, you want to go to connections. And once connections, go to your Bluetooth settings. What I recommend doing is turning this off so you get a fresh start. So now what you want to do on an Xbox One controller is hold down this button so it lights up and then hold down the sync button right there until it starts blinking, blinking rapidly. So again, there is that sync button. You just want to hold down on it and it will start blinking rapidly. So I'm going to do that again. There you go. All right, so that's what it wants you want to look like. Now on your device, we want to go in and turn on Bluetooth. So Bluetooth is now on and this might automatically pop up. So if this does, all you do is hit OK. OK, so for me, it's popping right here. So I'm just going to hit OK and it will start connecting. And there you go, Xbox One controller is connected to an input device, just like that. Now, if it doesn't show up for you like that in the pop-up, it's gonna wait over here. It might take like a minute for it to show up, but it will say Xbox wireless controller. That's when you wanna click on. So there you go, it is connects pretty quick. I can see now the light is solid, it's not blinking anymore. Ooh, take a look at that. So I'm navigating the menu, I'm using the D-pad, and I can go down, let's go ahead and hit A. Whoa, that's cool. Okay, let's go back, let's press B. Oh my God, that is so cool. What happens if I hit the, and yeah, let's see what happens if I hit the Xbox button. Oh, it goes home. Okay, so now I can go through my apps too, I think. Oh yeah, look, it has a little white icon around. I don't know if you guys could see it, but I go to control this too. So I'm gonna go over to Ocean Horn. Oh God, this is awesome. All right, so let's exit the Ocean Horn because I'll show you guys it's starting up like from the title screens. All right, here we are. So I'm gonna go and open it up and I don't think I had the latest version of Ocean Horn because, you know. All right, so anyway, it's loading up. And look at this. Oh my God. I was gonna use my save file. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> this is so much better than using the touchscreen controls, especially if you have a stand for your device and if this was a tablet. But look at that. All right, so hopefully this setup looks better. I'm trying to find a way to show you guys it's better, but Look at that, I'm using my sword. 
Oh my god, this is awesome. So I'm gonna go and throw this pot. And yeah, everything does work as I could see. It's pretty awesome. I'm playing Ocean Horn using my Xbox One controller. Can I go in the water? Oh crap. I didn't see you there. You're dead. Let's go try another game, so I'm gonna exit home. Hmm, okay, let's do Asphalt Extreme. I'm gonna go load that up. All right. <laughs> Can I just start the race already? Oh my God, I am so excited, guys. Let's see how this works. I hope you get to use a trigger. And for those of you guys, I know there are gonna be people asking, you cannot do this on an iPhone. I tested it for some reason. Apple does not like connecting a non-made-for-iPhone controller with their devices. So I tried both at the PS4 controller and also this Xbox One S controller. The iPhones just will not connect. This uh, Apple, come on, just open up a little bit. Let us use these controllers on iPhone. You can do that with a jailbreak. Come on. Is it, did that, did that freeze? Okay, so here we're back. Oh, it does say gamepad connected. How about let's do a quick race and let's start it. Uh, I can use my controller too for this part, but all right, so here we go. I'm gonna focus. Okay, we're about to start. Oh, okay, yes, it is a trigger. So let me show you guys. I can just go ahead and slow down. Boom. There you go. Okay, so it's configured perfectly. Oh, okay, this is awesome. I like this map. Let me get some boost. Is it A? Please be A. Yes, it's A. Okay, so they got the controls right. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, they're like way ahead of me since I was showing you guys how this works and that. I was going to try to catch up a bit. Is it handbrake? Yes, that's handbrake. Okay, cool. All right, where are you guys? I'm catching up. I'm driving into the sunset. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, I'm such a bad driver, but we're on a bridge. Again, this will work with a bunch of games. Any game that works for like one of those controllers that you buy for an Android phone. It will work with your Xbox controller or your PS4 controller, whichever one you have. Go ahead and pause by hitting the start button. And there you go. So... I like that sound. All right, let's get X out of here. And yeah, so there you go, guys. And also, once you disconnect the controller, once you turn the controller back on, it'll automatically connect to your Android device so you don't have to pair it every time. But if you do want to connect this back to your Xbox One, all you gotta do is again, hold down the sync button and connect it back to your Xbox One, and they'll be back to your Xbox One. All right, guys, so enjoy playing your favorite Android games using an Xbox One controller. This works on tablets too, Android tablets, and it's amazing. Hope you guys enjoyed. Get subscribed, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.